Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Teacher Debbie in Debbie June 101 Coding Tutorial. So this time we are going to solve random puzzle in our uh, code coding in code.org. We are now in course F. This is for grade 5 students and for IAL 6 students. Okay. So, if you are ready, Teacher Debbie is ready. But before we start, those who are new in our uh, channel, don't forget to subscribe. Click subscribe and please click the bell so you will be uh, notified if we have new videos uploaded in our channel. Okay? Can we start now? Okay, that's good. So, this week, we are going to uh, solve random puzzle in our lesson lesson number 13 this this is all about loops and we all know that loops what is that loops means yes that is the repetitive work or functions or tasks in our coding so to start with in our lesson one uh, lesson 13 puzzle number one okay because this week we have two lesson to do uh, lesson number 13 and 14 but number 14 is only unplugged activity so all you need to do is to watch the video so let's start with number one so in number one all you need to do is to watch the video okay click play and watch So when you use a repeat block to loop your code, how does the computer know when it's repeated enough times? The repeat block is actually hiding a more sophisticated piece of code called a for loop, which counts from a starting value up to an ending value by a specific increment. So for example, a repeat three block counts from one to three by one, and every time it counts, it runs the code inside the loop. The for loop knows how many times it has run by using a counter variable that is set to the starting value at the beginning of the loop and has the increment added to it each time the loop is run. As soon as the counter variable is greater than the ending value, the loop stops running. So the benefit of using a real for loop instead of the repeat block is that you can actually see the counter variable and use it in your loop. Okay, so that is our looping. So we have also our, what we call the counter uh, variables okay so I will not solve number two because this is a free uh, play so you will do it by your own you can design you can solve by your own so I will jump to number three and let's start okay so in number three instruction says use a repeat loop inside of a for loop to create the ta a stack of triangle that goes from 50 pixel to 100 pixel sides. So we need to draw 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 triangles from 50 to 100. So how can we do that one? With, uh, using only 11 uh, blocks. Okay, so let's try. So first thing first, we will do our loop okay and this time we are going to use this uh, loop okay we run so start from here for counter from 50 because we have 50 here 50 and then to 100 right to 100 because this is 100 here so this is our first loop next second loop is repeat okay how many times three times because the triangles have three sides so three times and what we're going to do is to action move forward okay by what 
by counter sorry okay this one we will delete this one okay move forward by counter we need to say our counter is 50 to 100 and then turn left turn left by how many degrees should be 120 okay so this is now our loop sorry this is now our loop and let's try to run okay so this is our loop for counter 50 to 100 this is 50 to 100 repeat three times because that is triangle and move forward by counter counter is this one 50 to 100 and turn left by 120 degrees let's try So that is how to solve number three. You get it? Very good. So let's jump to uh, number seven. So I will leave to you four, five, and six. So I will jump to number seven. Okay, where is number seven? Five, six, seven. Okay, are you ready now with number seven? So number seven. Okay, it's he's here. If you if you turn a little bit more or less than you normally would for a shape, it creates a neat effect. Recreate your code from the last level, but turn nine, uh, 89 degrees to create a twisted square spiral. So we will change the degrees. So how can we do that one? So first, set color okay color blue and then we will use action uh, loop sorry counter loop okay this one from 50 to 300 okay 300 and this one count by 15 okay 15 to 300 count by 15 next action to move forward by counter to move forward by counter and then next is to turn left by how much 89 okay 8 9 okay so let's try you get it again for counter from 15 to 300 count by 15 move forward by counter Okay, this is our counter and turn left by 89 as given by the instruction. Let's try. Okay, run. You got it? Okay, that's complete our puzzle number 7. Okay, so I will leave it to you 8, 9, 10 and I will jump to number 11. So number 11 now is what we call prediction. Okay. Oh, maybe number 10. 10 okay, number 10. Okay, not 11. So prediction, you will do it by your own. Very simple, you can only choose your answer. So I will go to number 11. Uh, number 10 sorry so number 10 it says here use the counter inside the set al alpha black to get something like a, a faded center this hexagon pattern was made using 60 degree turn so we will change the degree now into 60 degrees okay so remember this is our our old work so for you uh, so that you are not confused, I will delete this one. Everything I will delete. Okay, so we will start. So I will, maybe I will change to color, what color you want. Okay, green, green, it's green. And then we will set, we will set the wheel into one. Okay, we need to set the thickness of the line is one. 
uh, one pixel then action we will go a loop we will go to counter counter from 50 to 300 similar to what we did last time okay in uh, in our uh, previous previous uh, puzzle okay so number two counter count by two for counter from 15 to 300 count by two and then next set alpha set al alpha to okay i will change this one set alpha alpha okay the counter by counter okay where's counter here comment alpha so after that go to brush set alpha and then we will change this one to counter okay so we will just change this one to counter so go counter okay so this is our counter right and then after that move action is to move forward counter move forward counter okay and then after that turn turn right 60 degrees turn right uh, maybe this one okay turn right by 60 degrees as given okay so this is our counter now and this is our code okay and let's try Again, for counter 15 to 300, count by 2, set alpha, counter, move forward by counter, pixels, and then turn right by 60 degrees. Let's try. So the drawing is from light to, alpha means the, from light to thick lines or darker lines. I will move it faster so that you can see. So if you can see here, light to dark. Almost done. And that's it. Okay, so click finish. And you're done with puzzle number. Okay, so keep playing, uh, continue your coding, solve the remaining puzzle, and hoping that you are enjoying doing your coding. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe our channel. This is Teacher Debbie in Debbie June 101 Coding Tutorial. Till next time, have a nice day everyone and God bless you.